All right, so I got the Pit Boss Austin XL. I bought it from Walmart. It was on clearance, big time. Uh, these things usually go four fifty to five hundred bucks. Walmart's the only one I know selling for four fifty. Everybody else sells them for four five hundred bucks. Paid one hundred fifty dollars for it. Yeah. So let me let me show you. Now it says uh, one ninety six or one ninety five, or save one ninety five. I pay two fifty one. And I was going to buy it for that price. I thought that was a great deal. And then he's like, well, this was re a return. He said, this was a, a return. So we don't know what's wrong with it. Might be something wrong with it. If there is, and you can't bring it back, but it's 150 bucks. And I was like, you know what? I can gamble $150. So uh, I bought it. And it's been sitting out here for about a week now. Ordered a cover for it. Uh, I'm waiting on that to come in. And I still don't know if it works. But I was trying it out. Everything seems to work. The auger works, pushes the pellets through. Everything does what it's supposed to, with the exception of the igniter. So I went ahead, ordered another uh, hot rod, which is what this is called, because it's got a rod on the end, it's hot, and then lights up the wood pellets. So we're going to go through the process of changing it. Now, I've never done it, never even opened one of these up, but I don't think it's going to be that difficult. There's like eight ten screws for the entire grill so of the mechanical parts so it can't be too too complicated so let's get started on it now you can tell obviously it has been it's gotten wet which i know is a no-no um, it was sitting underneath one of my uh, overhangs didn't do a great job protecting that but we're gonna get all this out this is the fire pot we're gonna take these screws out here and we're gonna pop this out and the fire rods down in here but first, uh, we're going to go all the way underneath here. This is the front of it here where you dump your pellets in on top. We're going to go underneath here. There's four screws. Uh, no, I'm sorry. There's eight screws. Two on each corner. And we're going to take this off and get to the uh, the hot rod plug to undo it. And I think there's a grommet in there. We're going to pop that out too. Um, I don't know what else past that that we're going to get into. This is up inside the bottom. I was telling you about with these screws on each, two screws on each corner. So we gotta cut this. Oh, we gotta cut this uh, zip tie off and do all these wires. But it's this one, the purple and white. See the purple and white wire? Now I know that's it because of the schematics that I found online for this model grill. So we're gonna plug this, undo everything, then we're gonna pull it through. And let me see if there is a grommet. Yes, there is, there is a grommet up here. We'll pull it off. You, you'll be able to see it better once I cut everything loose, but it's right here. And the board's up there, so we're gonna check the fuses and everything on that as well while we're underneath here. And then we're gonna get everything buttoned back up. But this should be uh, pretty simple. Everything is cut loose. Um, the fuse, I don't know, let's see if I can grab my lighter. That little green box on the right hand side, that is actually the, the fuse housing. So I pulled it out and checked it, everything, everything's good there. Got this loose here and what I did is I cut the plug off on this end. And the reason why, I think I'm gonna attach to this and pull it through from a hot rod. So what I'll do is I'll feed the hot rod in past this fan. There's a little hole here and I can't really get the camera up there. There's a little hole right back here that it goes through. So we'll, Attach it, tape it, I'll just electrical tape it to this right here. And then um, we'll pull it through and I'll, I'll help push the rod through. But once I get the rod through, it should slide through, pull through, or pull through, no problem. This is the kit that I ordered from Amazon. It comes with two hot rods actually. And I think these are actually a touch bigger than what's in here. And it comes with two fuses to replace if you need to. Now I'm gonna pull that out and check just so we know we don't have to do that. So with no ignition coming to the wood pellets, I believe that's gonna fix our problem. Okay, here's the fire pot. We should be able to just take these screws out. Now, if this is, uh, if yours is a little older and you're having this issue, my guess is that it's probably not gonna come out as easily as mine, because mine is new. Although it was used um, before the guy brought it, whoever had it brought it back, because there was ashes inside the grill. So I know it did work. And, and these things are pretty notorious about the fire rods going or the hot rods going out on. So you should be able to slide this around. Right. 
got it loose, had to tap it with the hammer just a touch. Twist it. Oh, and I did what I said I wasn't going to do. I pulled the wire through. Hopefully it didn't come all the way through yet. So let's take this set screw out. That holds the hot rod in here. That's actually your igniter. check underneath to make sure that the uh, other end of the wire is still there all right so i did pull it through all the way but this one the wire is stiff enough that this just slid right through there was no problem getting the new one in even without tying it off to the other one now um i was wrong this one is the same size as the new one but uh, i really thought the new one was going to be larger just by looking at it this one's through. Now I got it hooked up with the other end. I did end up putting my grommet back. I didn't think I was going to, but it's so easy to get to. I don't want any excess smoke, heat, or anything escaping through there. So I went ahead and put it back in. Got the uh, fire part cleaned out. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide this back through. Push it up to the end. Take your screwdriver. Tighten that set screw back up. Now that ought to be super tight, guys. Just make sure that make sure that it doesn't slip out. So now I'll try to get this back in. We got a camera phone. So let me get some tools. Probably gonna take the hands of that and be back in just a second. Well, I think I lied a little bit. All I need was my other hand, so I used two hands. This slid back on, no problems. Pick that up a little bit, slid right through. Let's put our four screws back in. Then we go button iron up everything else underneath. Um, no, I think we'll actually test it out first, obviously. The auger is actually stomped up from these wood pellets that got wet, clogged up in there. So now, the uh, hot rod wasn't my only problem. I got to remove this whole hopper. So I'll remove these screws first. Got two here, two on the other side. And then um, we will pop it open and i pop it off and see if we can get that auger to start moving. That's what it looks like when it's all off. Got these two screws on the back. Now, I will say, I just happen to have a patio chair sitting here, but that's why I put it in. But just do yourself a favor, get a bucket or a box or something. It's not heavy, but make sure you get that light on something because you don't want to do, undo all these wires. There's no sense of it. You can definitely see that it is it's clogged up. So we're going to remove that little nut right here, and then this motor should just slide right out. Man, that is. Uh, Getting a pellet smoker wet or any kind of moisture inside the auger is a very bad idea. Very bad idea. Uh, I got any, I'm gonna have to go buy a uh, shop back and a crowbar. Mine's at the uh, store in Dalton, so I'm just gonna run down Chatsworth and buy one. But this thing right there, I'm gonna have to I'm have to pry that up somehow because this won't even twist to get the set screw off to get the motor off. So we're gonna have to get the whole thing up and uh i'm hoping that we can do that without bending or breaking anything this thing's a trick I and mean, i've had it don't do this but uh, you know it's wired up and i plugged it up and so i could get turned on and working on what was on and it's not a smart idea don't do it but uh, i was about at my wits end i didn't know what to do so Now we got to um, go pick up a couple of things for it and hopefully we get it fixed because a $500 grill for 150 bucks and the hot rod that I got to replace it was uh, two, came with, it was a two pack, came with two fuses and everything. I think it was only like $18.
So, I mean, that's not bad. For 160 bucks, I can have a Pit Boss Austin XL pellet smoker. I've never used one. Any pellet smoker, period. But I wanted to try because I do like barbecue. I do like smoking meats. And, you know, I do it the old-fashioned way with stick wood and everything. But I, I don't know what this is going to do. I have my doubts because I'm, I'm kind of pure at heart when it comes to barbecue. This definitely isn't the purest approach. I understand. But I want to try it. I, had to, I have to know. I have to know. And like I said, 150 bucks. That's enough to take a gamble on. Anyway, we're going to end this video. Um, hopefully, we'll get another one tomorrow. Ooh. I don't know if tomorrow will be it or not. Because I got us. Anyway, we'll get one soon. If not tomorrow, I'm going to shoot for tomorrow. But if not, it'll be in the next couple of days. But we're going to get uh, everything we need, get this out, and then we're going to show you putting it back together. I hope we get it out. If not, you'll see us not getting it out. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to. It's free. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Because it doesn't cost you anything. And nothing but positivity on this page. And uh, if you guys would leave us a comment, you got any questions about anything at all, have you had this happen before? Do you have a pellet smoker? Have you used a pellet smoker? Drop a line in the comments, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll see you next time, guys. Appreciate you watching.